This party's worse than a Mexican funeral. Y Lupe, y otra Lupe. Salvador, Fabián, Jesús, María, Vincente, y los perros de Vincente. Yeah, I'll have to think about it. I mean, this is a life-altering choice. You, you know, like an Italian choosing to get glasses. Okay, read the third row down, please. Hey, hey, yo, oh, hey, yo, oh, yo, oh, hey. Man, Russia has the hottest and ugliest women in the world. All tens and ones. Wow. Whoa. Wow. Whoa. Wow. Whoa. Whoa. Ah, oh, I'm a whoa. From now on, I too will be abstinent. I'll be as untouched as the turn signal in an Asian woman's car. How much signal I need to cut across eight lane? None? I turn now. Good luck, everybody else. It's my dog's car. Oh, and I know you didn't ask, but I am quick to anger. Okay, great. Now get out there and try to kiss as many ladies as you can. The record is 60 in a month. You, sir, are officially an Uber driver. This is easier than getting your jet ski license. All right, Kyle, looking good. You got 100% on your written test, 100% on your water test. Just one last question. Have you ever had a fist fight with your stepdad? Which stepped on? You passed. Here's your license. Go be a dick. Oh, 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 no. Oh, no, Joe. These aren't done. The inside's colder than an Asian in-law. Mom, Dad, this is Alan. It's a pleasure Where to meet... Where you go college? Uh, Tufts? Never heard. Not real school. What you do? I'm an eco-consultant. What that? That sounds stupid. How much you make? About 200000 per year. Welcome to family. Ugh, I swear, sometimes your head is emptier than a French laundromat. There is no one here. Why did you make me invest in this? Well, look at the bright side. We can do our own laundry for free, eh? <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Good one. No, we'll remain filthy. Quahog Racket Club, where frail old men come to weigh themselves in the nude. Does that say 84 or 85? It says 63. Oh, dear. How'd you get all those cuts on your butt? Hey, Tyler, are you on your way to algebra? Yeah, I'll see you there. The preceding joke was brought to you by men. Men, we don't know what we did. Well, I don't like your cooking. Well, I don't like having to literally empty the farts out of your pockets whenever I do your laundry. You're the one who's always cooking Brussels sprouts and broccoli. It's like an Irish bar fight down there. You're from one town over, so I hate your guts. <laughs> we took that helicopter tour at Tucson. Wow, I've never seen so many boats not near bodies of water. That park is all concrete. Look, there's a dog tied to our other dog. I think that guy with long hair is a lawyer. Look at all those students running for their lives. Oh, there's the concrete park again. Ah, <sighs> nothing like a day at the park surrounded by overcompensating divorced dads. Wow, look how high you're going. What an amazing day this is. <laughs> is mommy spending $2,500 a month on you? Because that's what I'm sending mommy. Well, you just think you know everything, don't you? You're like a black woman in hindsight. I told you. What did I tell you? Didn't I tell you? Because I told you. Mm-hmm. And when did I tell you? A long time ago. And what did I say will happen when I told you? Exactly what just happened. Face it, Brian. She's dumber than a Boston area book report. The novel I chose to address is Oliver Twist by Charles Dickens. Queer name, right? The book was actually not bad. The Barrington Room? Peter, that's the most exclusive room in all of New England. Yeah, I hear it's even harder to get in there than the University of Arizona. Well, it's beating. Welcome to the Wildcats. Black guys change their shirts while they tell you a story. I mean, she's good at haircutting and everything. They gave her the chair right by the door. But I guess now she wants to hang plates on the wall or whatever. And you know she gained the weight back from the lap band, right? That Bernadette in her pie. You know it, brother. Okay, I'm gonna go eat this steak in the bathroom. It's like ear bloodening sounds had sex with nose bloodening smells, and this is their baby. I am glad you are enjoying yourself. Would you like some of my meat fushnush? It's a chicken that has been yelled at for two hours and then run over by a Mercedes. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, you can really taste the fear in the chicken.
Yeah, you got anything for a poor fat person who wants to look like a rich fat person? Of course. Now, I'll mostly be hitting on waitresses who are too young and thin to ever be interested in me. Hitting on them in a kindly, genial way? No, in a threatening, creepy, I'm joking, but I'm not really joking way. Sir, what you're describing is precisely Mr. Bahama's vision. Tommy Bahama. Five million uncles can't be wrong. It's not like I'm a woman who's about to turn 30. You guys, I don't care what we do for my birthday, as long as it lasts the whole week and it's very expensive and inconvenient for all my friends. Oh, and I'm going to dress like a slut and be rude to everyone for no reason. But, Maya... I don't care that your dad's dying. We're all going to Montreal for the week. Maybe I gotta find friends who can't make fun of my appearance because they're weird-looking themselves. Like those two bearded dwarves walking across the street there. Hey, will you bearded dwarves be friends with me? We, sir, are Italian children. Good day. Man, what are those guys doing? Ah, those are the McMurphy brothers. They've been circling that same spot for 50 years, just daring each other to throw the first punch. Just you try it. Oh, I'll try it. Just you try it. You'll feel it when I try it. I'd like to see you have at it. Would you now? Unbelievable. There's hardly anyone here. Oh, well, that's it. I'm off to a new town to start a new life. Ooh, sorry. Don't you know what a rosary on a doorknob means? And you dodged a bullet not having to raise that kid. Your life would have been more miserable than a lonely old widow living in a downstairs apartment. Achoo. Quiet! Keep it down up there! <sighs> what did I just say? I'm calling the police! This isn't going to be a cakewalk, all right? I'm your supervisor. Meg, Meg, I promise I'll do better at this job than I did on the SATs. Come on. Do math. Well, wait a minute, Peter. Maybe that's the answer. You just gotta get his mother to take him back. How the hell am I supposed to do that? She's an idiot redneck, Peter. Tricking her should be easier than escaping from Canadian Alcatraz. Can I go out through here? Just be back by bedtime. Okay. Aunt Carol, Mom says you'd make a great Florida whore. What does that mean? <laughs> oh, oh, Chris, I, I said that about Kate Hudson. You know, I always thought I'd be a good Florida whore. Thanks to you, my hair stays like this when we stop. Good thing, Peter. I mean, come on, we're a team. Like fish and chips and fat guys. I want the double cheeseburger, but I'm going to go healthy and get the fish and chips. Fish and chips. Fat guys think we're a diet food. Then we have a chocolate chocolate cake that's infused with chocolate, served with chocolate ice cream and a molten chocolate topping. We'll have one of those with four spoons. More like four of those with one spoon for me. <laughs> it was even better than the time I stumbled into that fat, lonely women's club. Do you like cake? Yes. Do you like my ass? Yes. Do you want to eat cake off my ass? What kind of cake? Angel food cake. Well, Rusty, looks like we're going to eat our way out of another jam. It seems foolish to have all this money lying around. Oh, you'd rather have it down at the bank where the Jewish guys can leer at it? Yeah! Right. yeah money! <laughs> Woo! -hoo. Do you think all those chickens had to buy tickets? Uh, what do you want to watch? Well, if you turn on channel 14, we can probably catch the end of Muslim Looney Tunes. As a pig, I am very dirty and should not be touched by humans. We made it! 
This is where Padma works. I feel like I owe every bus in America an apology.